Yo, what's good? It's 6.30 on a Saturday. I just woke up. And it's day 235. Wow. Days are still going because I wouldn't say I'm shredded yet. Like I'm getting there and I'm getting to a point, but the days are still going. Even though it might not be in the title, we're still going. I got a jam-packed full day. I'm gonna go on a walk right now. I got a I got a meeting at seven. I got Muay Thai at nine, and then I obviously got to upload my YouTube videos, do my morning stuff. Um, but yeah, it was 26 degrees last night. I'm gonna check what it is right now, but it's freezing outside. I still got to get my steps in. That's a priority. This. Uh, this like winter kind of era until I go to Thailand because I'll be in Thailand in January But up until January. Yes, it snows. Yes, it's insanely cold But that does not mean I should not get enough steps in If you guys look at your health tracker app, so pull that out and I say this a lot But you can see how many steps you get with your phone in your pocket if you go to my six month or my year I used to average less than 5,000, like less than 3,000 some day, some months, which is insane. Like in May, I averaged 2,600 steps. That's because I was inside working on my computer all day and I didn't go outside and didn't do really anything. I just basically walked to the gym and then kind of walked around and stuff. Um, yeah, that, that's a fucking problem. That is not a healthy way to live life at 2,000 steps. Our ancestors got like 17,000. So get your guys steps in. Also, I'm going to out to eat with my parents tonight because, and my family, because you know what's crazy is my brother's, my brother's going to Guam. You guys know where that is. I, I don't know, it's in the, the, is it in the Pacific Ocean? I'm pretty sure it's in the Pacific Ocean somewhere by Japan. My brother's going to Japan and I'm going to Thailand. Kind of feel bad for my mom because she, all her kids are fucking going overseas. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but um, yeah, my poor mom. So we're going out to eat and then wishing him off. I'm still here for another two months till I leave because I got this place, this apartment. The lease doesn't end for another two months. So. I'm gonna go on a walk really quick, just wake up, rejuvenate myself, get my brain straight, and then, yeah, we're hitting something. Shoulders, chest, arms, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm heading to Muay Thai, taking off the nose strip. Got my bag packed, and yeah, it smells like crap, so. Good morning. I'm gonna come back, have a protein shake, and then probably hit a workout later. Maybe I'll set up the Smith machine, see if Ethan wants to set up that. We'll see. I have no idea. Figure it out. Just got back from Muay Thai. You guys can see my hair is kinda, it's not sweaty anymore. I kinda dried off. It's freezing outside, so. I kinda cooled off really, really quick, but it was a good, very good practice. Got my heart rate up for sure. Got a good sweat in to start the day. And now, pour myself a tall glass of milk. But, we're gonna add some protein to it along with it. So, protein powder, whey protein. Um, and then I'm gonna do some peptides as well. So, collagen peptides. I've been having these with my whey protein shakes. I don't know the science behind it or any of that shit, but something about like adding collagen and like collagen peptides, stuff like that, to your whey protein. If you mix it with your whey protein, it's flavorless. Like you can just add it and it's more protein. This has an extra 14 grams of protein. So I'm pretty sure the protein powder has eight, or not eight, like, uh, like 18. Uh, so 18 plus 14, that's what, 32? So 32 plus the milk, the milk's got 13 grams, um, and then there's probably three cups, so whatever 13 times three is, 39 plus, so 
So it's got over 60 grams of protein in this thing. I'm gonna have this with some fruit. Cause it's the morning, I kinda wanna fast. I like doing a fasted workout. So I don't wanna eat my normal breakfast right now before I work out. I wanna eat my like normal breakfast after I work out. So. I just took a quick shower. I'm in the old robe. Gotta wear this more often. Got some raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. I got the protein shake and then I got a little kombucha. Just to wanna get my carbs in because I wanna have like a, a energy full workout. Um, I kinda spent all my energy when I was doing Muay Thai, but With something light, easy to digest. I'm gonna have like a spoonful of honey and then, yeah, get some stretching, get some work done on the old computer. It's gonna be a good day. All right, you got strawberry lemonade and then citrus lime salt. It's in this thing going in. Citrus lime is already in there. There's not like a full packet, but it's gonna be good. I don't know how strawberry lemonade citrus lime is gonna taste, but we're, uh, we're about to find out. And then I'm thinking chest, so. Boom, let's get it. First set. Really light set, eight. Stop. Two of five, we're gonna do two sets of five. Or two twenty-five. Next set's gonna be a fucking struggle. Maybe I'll do a little, little bit more rest. Shit. I'll do one more set of five. This set was not bad. Just a uh, big struggle, which is good.
fucking wrist wraps. Holy crap, my wrists are getting compressed. I'm glad I did that. I don't know if my butt came up, but I'm seeing stars right now. That was a good set. If not for the hypertrophy, it's definitely making me stronger. So, heavy bench. I'm gonna do some, I'm actually gonna do one set with probably 285 and just rep it out. I won't film it just because I don't want this video to run too long, but I'm just gonna rep it out, do some incline dumbbell press as well as some cables and then some overhead dumbbell press. Actually, I'll probably skip the incline dumbbell press, just do cables and shoulder press. And then some lateral raises. I don't trade shoulders often because my shoulders are already too fucking big. But every once in a while, I want to keep my strength up, so that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. I don't know why, but I just connect well with these cable kind of fly push down things. That's good. Back number two. Sets, enough time and retention, enough weight, intensity. I don't really need much else. Also, if you guys are looking for a way to keep your shoes clean, my shoes aren't clean, but like look at this one compared to this one. You know what you do? You take the gym rags and you fucking wipe them bitches down. I don't know what cleaning material substance they use, but this is the one shoe that's been clean. And then that shoe has been clean, that shoe hasn't. I hope you can see the difference. Pretty crusty. I went on a, a hike with these shoes on accidentally. I didn't realize I was gonna go on a hike with the shoes on, so. <sighs> it ended up being all right and I can just clean them, but I probably need new shoes soon. No, I don't need new shoes. New shoes are materialistic. My goal is to be minimalistic. It's not a goal, it's just like something I do. Like I like it. It's not like a, something I feel like I have to do. It's just something I want to do. Like I just don't want stuff. It's not something I want to do, it's something that I don't want to have stuff is basically the premise. And you can probably not see me because the exposure is doing something weird, but I'm gonna finish this workout. Some overhead press, dumbbells. Try to go a little bit heavy burnout and then some flies so oh not flies but lateral raises
feel like I'm crushing the hand grips. Same with benching. I feel like you want to break the bar with your grip. It helps. It like stabilizes your muscles so that you really feel it on the muscles that are actually working. I don't know. Try it out, see if you like it. I also hope it's get perfect helping my grip strength. Because I need better grip strength. It's one thing I'm working on, getting bigger wrists. Okay. We Good. Good. All right. Good workout. I lost my chest pump. Oh, damn it. I lost my chest pump, but we still got a shoulder pump. Ethan's gonna help me build a new gym because we're sponsored. Help me. It's my fucking gym. It's your gym. Well, technically, it's my you were storage. sponsored. It's my storage gym. Well, you haven't paid me for it, so. Jeez, what the fuck? What you dude? <laughs> what? What do you want? <laughs> see, Ethan hasn't seen me in a while. He thinks I'm big. <sighs> well, I watched a few of your videos, but like. See, just, listen to this. He said he thinks I'm bigger in person. Am I bigger in person? Your shoulders. Right? My sh see, I said I said this earlier. Like, I don't need to train shoulders, but. Okay, oh, you also have a pump, though. I have a pump, yeah, for sure. I get a really, really good pump. I don't even have a pump. Watch this shit. I'm I have a short video. Actually, maybe not. Fuck! What the hell? <sighs> okay, we'll see where Ethan is. He's gonna bring out the nipples. I haven't lifted in seven days. Cause I've my, chest is, my chest is pretty full, but like... <sighs> Guys, let me know if I'm logging. Ethan's arms are bigger, but we're getting there. I also need bigger forearms. I'm working on forearms and neck traps. Your traps are good. I can't train legs for like the next month. Well, look I at tore that. My ACL. You tore your ACL? Yeah. Doing what? I fell, I fell in a hole. Yeah, where? I'm proud. You did not tear it. You should. No, I did. Partial it was tear? at least a partial tear. I think I tore the whole thing, though. You would not be able to walk right now. No, you can walk with an ACL tear. You just can't really kneel down and stuff. Okay. That's enough. We're gay. All right. We're going to go build the gym in the cold. And you guys are going to see some new videos with the. The fucking Smith machine in a 10 by 10. <laughs> I'm gonna cook some eggs. Eat them. What do you got? I got chicken. Chicken. Bro, people, protein. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be eating a steak and eggs. And uh, I think it's 45 degrees outside, so I'm gonna get a walk done. And then we're having Plaza Azteca. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. For dinner. So, bulk tonight. And uh, crazy, 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 crazy lift. Uh, <laughs> it is stored in a 10 by 10 storage unit. In a fucking storage, storage unit tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. 10 by 10 storage. The 10 by 10. Right, we're in the old Ford Exploder. It's <laughs> fucking sitting like, look at the seat. And then back there, we got all of the packages. So, we're headed to go set up this gym. We're just luck because it's gonna take a long fucking time. Yeah. But we got construction man here. Sir, yes sir. Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but turn the light on. We are in. You guys can see kind of maybe the weights and stuff. These are the weights. Pretty sick. And uh, yeah, that's what we're working with. The uh, phone died. The plates or the the full thing itself is not done yet. We're obviously it's dark, so we can't really do much because there's no light in this thing. But isn't this sick? It's a ten by ten. Look at him <laughs> standing next to it. Do I mog it? It's mogging. It's getting mogged, just like I mogged you earlier. Imagine mogging mogging your whole gym. It's fucking <laughs> when you can mog, when we're gonna mog our whole gym, but. It's too late right now. We're gonna finish it tomorrow, which is Sunday. And yeah, I'm gonna go home and go to bed. So, catch you guys in the morning. Peace.